the hour. Good morning. Welcome to the Monday, April 22nd edition of the Morning Show. We do have lots of sports to uh, check out. Partly cloudy in 73 today as we uh, check out a brief, quick look at our uh, weather. Let's get into uh, sports news. The sports this time around brought to you by Custom Muffler and Tire Specialist Joe and Jody Schufer, Jack Rourke with Alignment, Dean in the office. They'll take good care of your automotive needs next to Napa on 421. Let's uh, show you some ASU baseball highlights from yesterday afternoon. The weather cooperating a little bit better yesterday than it did Saturday afternoon in the uh, second game of the doubleheader Saturday. Man, that rain just let loose on everything that was going on outside here in the high country. But uh, we'll uh, talk about ASU baseball this morning, give you the local sports schedule, and check out the scores from yesterday, too, in the NBA and Major League Baseball. As far as uh, Appalachian is concerned, the Bulldogs pounded Mountaineer pitching for 22 runs yesterday as the Citadel Crews passed Appalachian 10-6 and 12-zip yesterday afternoon over at Lackey Field. Action getting underway Sunday as the rain-shortened game from Saturday was completed. Play was stopped in the fifth inning with the Citadel leading 7-4. Mountaineers came back and uh, made it 7-6. However, the Citadel put three runs up in the eighth inning to put the game away. The second game saw the Bulldogs, who are now 28 and 24 on the season, 13 and 10 in the conference, get off to a fast start, scoring five runs in the first three innings, and Appalachian just could, couldn't handle it. 12 nothing was the final on that one. Appalachian's now 25 and 17 on the year, 12 and 10 in the conference. They managed to reach base six times on three hits and three uh, walks yesterday. They're at, down at Wake Forest, non-conference game against an ACC opponent. Demon Deacons tomorrow night hosting our Mountaineers at 7 o'clock. If you want to see that, about an hour and a half drive, not bad at all. Well, as far as today's local sports schedule is concerned, Watauga High girls soccer team plays host to McDowell. That's a 5 o'clock game today. Watauga High School golf down at McDowell today. They'll play at Lake Marion. Girls softball, they are at McDowell today, and the baseball team travels to McDowell. That'll be a game tomorrow. They have today off the JV and the varsity teams. NBA yesterday, Hornets played their final game of the season. A lot of speculation as to uh, what's going to happen with the coach this week, but the Magic beating Charlotte 103-100, and the Hornets were way up. I don't know how many points they're up um, in that ball game, but uh, couldn't do it at the end. Chicago beat Washington 103-93. Philadelphia knocking off Toronto 109-105 in overtime. New York 125-111 over Boston. Indiana beat Cleveland 89-88. Houston over Phoenix 118-110. Dallas over San Antonio 103-98. Denver beat Seattle 99-88, Atlanta over Miami 104-92. Miami, of course, gets that final playoff spot. That was already secured before yesterday's action. The Hornets, that's what they were hoping for, but didn't get it. Vancouver over the Clippers 108-101. Detroit beat Milwaukee 108-92. Sacramento beat Golden State 107-100. The Lakers over Portland 92-88. Hockey playoffs continued yesterday. Tampa Bay 5-4 in overtime over Philadelphia. The Rangers beat Montreal 2-1. Winnipeg 4-1 over the Tigers. Chicago, that's not the Tigers, that's Detroit. The Red Wings. Chicago 7-5 over Calgary. It is a Monday, isn't it? And St. Louis 3-2 over Toronto in overtime. It was race day at Martinsville yesterday. Rusty Wallace snagged his first victory of the year at yesterday's Goodies 500 at Martinsville Speedway. Wallace passed Jeff Gordon and led the final 12 laps to post his fourth straight spring event win in Martinsville. Ernie Irvin ran a, a good race in that one, and it was a good race. Baseball yesterday in the American League. Cleveland 11-7 over Boston. The Yanks beat the Twins 9-5. Milwaukee over Kansas City 5-4. Texas 9-6 over the Orioles. Oakland beat Chicago 6-5, 9-5 win for Seattle over Toronto and California. Knocked off Detroit, the Tigers losing by 1-6-5. In the National League, San Diego 2-1 in 15 over Atlanta. Montreal 9-4 over Pittsburgh, Philadelphia beat St. Louis 4-2. Colorado 6-4 over the Mets, Giants over the Cubs 7-6. Houston 7-5 over the Reds, and Florida beat L.A. 5-4 uh, was the final on that. Hey, big uh, football banquet coming up this weekend. Let me see if I can get all the details on it. It's going to be over at uh, the Boar Hill Inn Conference Center. It is uh, this Saturday night, as a matter of fact, and it is a great way to honor the 1995 undefeated Southern Conference football champions. It is at the Boar Hill Inn Conference Center Trillium Ballroom, 7 o'clock. The banquet will include coaches, players, parents, guests, and loyal supporters of Appalachian Athletics. There will also be the presentation of championship rings, along with special recognition of postseason honors and awards. A highlight video presentation of the 95 season will be shown in celebration of the most successful season in Appalachian history. Cost is uh, $25 per person. Table sponsor uh, sponsorships are still available, by the way.
It's a start. Karen's never been in South Carolina. This is what you do before a big game. Karen, <laughs> you jump. No, now you ate very good. What kind of sandwich did you have? This is our room. Here's Turkey. Karen. She just came back from running. Hi. <laughs> And now, tonight's non-starters for Appalachian State. Number three, Stephen Fisher. Number four, Robbie Chandler. Number six, Will Layton. Number 16, Norman Vest. Number 17, Danny Allard. Number 18, Skip Travers. Number 21, Will Reeves. Number 22, Bart Thorne. Number 23, Tommy School. Number 25, Stephen Maynard. Number 26, Michael Merrier. Number 28, John Anderson. Number 30, Phil Falco. Number 32, Dan Stutzman. And now the starting lineup for Appalachian State, which enters with a record of 26 and 17 and 12 and 10 in the Southern Conference. Leading off and playing third base, number 8, Tim Pusher. Number nine, Chris Rodriguez. Batting third, the catcher, number 12, Scott Garrett. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, number 33, Shane Owenby. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number 11, Brent Payton. Batting sixth, the first baseman, number 14, Kenny Osborne. Batting seventh and playing center field, number 20, Pete Spitzer. Batting eight, the shortstop, number 10, Brian Davidson. And batting nine, the right fielder, number five, Brent Perry. For the Mountaineers, doing the picking this evening and entering with a record of five and two, number 34, Jason Cruz. Let's go out! And now, introducing the tournament's four seed and designated home team, the Citadel Bulldogs. Yorktown. Yeah. In Yorktown. Where are Saturdays, they went to the boat. Got the camera out? Yep. Yeah, she's, she's got it. The, the big battle, I mean, the big airplane here, we got on the right after we crossed yeah. the bridge. Oh, yeah, that's Off it. Tanker. Yeah, I believe it is a tanker. There's yeah, a big yeah, barge yeah, going up there. It's tremendous. It's like a sea. Still here, it's perfect. I believe he has. There's a submarine you can go in. There's I believe I made the submarine out. Somebody said it did. We'll look if we go by there, but somebody and said it did. What, what is it, a destroyer? Or? Yeah. Yeah. They were too Yeah, these guys are Oh, I bet. Are we in the Charleston Harbor? Yeah, I mean, it looks big here, but when you get down to it, it's humongous. It does. It looks like it's just... Today is April 26, 1996. We have a, they tell us a carrier, battleship, submarine. Look at this. Look at this bridge, David. Would you be scared? And we just came here is on the ship. Say this is exactly what a typical uh, post looked like in Vietnam. Oh man, I've always wanted to 
Uncle Larry, bring back any memories. Yeah, recognize the helicopters. Ken, I've always wanted to ride. Two things I've always wanted to ride. One of those and a snowmobile. That, that, I want to try that. And I always want to go on a sleigh ride. This side. <laughs> Look at the difference. <laughs> See, down there on this, these lanes on this edge for buses. I'm starting to take you. This is even getting higher over here. Well, they didn't that time. I thought they would. Well, they're freshmen, so they. Yep. He doesn't get too well. You have to walk in the gutters, they were just telling us. The freshmen have to walk in the gutters. This is the car driver here. This is the Citadel. There's another one. Another thing I noticed, and I we assumed it was the underclassmen, their heads are like almost totally shaved. Oh, yeah. For Chris Hughes. Get that shot over that way. They say the whole place is like that, like a fort. And that's where they'll have their graduation. It's very humid today. Wind's blowing, cloudy. We rode him some of that full brag. Yeah. Yeah. They, were, they were bigger than that, yeah. They were feeling on it. It's I, a I ticket office. Yeah, for certain stuff. Piled inside. Yeah, and, and you see the big see, gates and the courtyards. Oh, yeah. That's the drill field. There you go. He's going to wave at you. How cute. Cool hair. Yeah. I got one now that's. that's yeah, they've got some more trying now. See, here's the shaved heads, and they had to walk in, look at them walking in line. Salute, salute their superiors. Well, they can't. They must not be freshmen because they're walking on the sidewalk. They're hanging. Any women in there? Oh, oh Billy! What? Can we run over? I didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything opens up to that drill. Oh, they have a lot of traction, didn't you? Give me all the support. It's lower class when they're walking a straight line. Oh no. Freshmen. Yeah, because see, they're walking, but the other ones are walking so slow. You go to the battery and it's it's like a right side to side big. It's going to be very nice. Today. Don't forget Runner for Appalachian State at first base, number 23, Tommy School.
the winning pitcher, Dan Stutzman, is now 5 and 1 of the season. For Davidson, two runs, six hits, and three errors. The losing pitcher, Jonathan Coulomb, is now 3 and 7. Game 7 of the tournament, a winner's bracket game between East Tennessee State and VMI, will begin at approximately 4.15. Approximate 4.15 first pitch for East Tennessee State. They will meet the loser of the upcoming game between East Tennessee State. Yeah. You need to haul and test the Hawaiian school board. Let, let. Leading off in the bottom of the seventh for Appalachian State and pinch hitting for Pete Snitzer, number 23, Tommy School. The shortstop, number two, Bradley James.
Get her. Get her. <laughs> Just wait, get that <laughs> I wonder if I get you. Oh, oh no, Grandma, <laughs> watch it. <laughs> At least it's going home to my family, Will. <laughs> I don't see that red light on. <laughs> sure you're recording? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Stutzman. Hey, Tommy School. What the hell? How you doing? Pat. Joey. Hey. Will, okay. Will Lathan. Tommy, Tommy School. John Anderson. Phil, Phil Falco. Girth, Garth Armstrong. Robbie, Robbie Chandler. Ooh. Actually, it's in the bathroom. Who? Who's in the bathroom? Batting crack is stood. Last, the last to run the old Appalachian bus. You usually getting beat in spades, right? No, sir. Hey, Tommy, say what this is. Our campus. But where are we? Appalachian State. Where are we? This is Howard's Nile. It's pretty clear. Gosh, I have a hard time. Field. Yeah, this is nice, Tommy. I'm glad you thought you'd bring us up here. I'm glad we finally got here. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, right. It doesn't hurt. I thought it was over there? I don't think so. 